Greetings, this is Deja Bliss with Basmati.com and your 30-day meditation challenge. Today is day 22. So today we're going to work with the healing capacity of the body and really see how visualization can affect you in your meditations. So I know we've worked with this some on and off and today we're really going to go into working with healing power. This is associated with the heart chakra and uh, we've talked about that a little bit during the Anahat meditation. So today we're just going to go ahead and anchor into the earth just like we've done at the beginning. So imagine again a cord or roots connecting from your lowest chakra down to the core of the earth. Take a moment to breathe into that. Of course, if you need to warm up, just take a moment and then join me here. At this point, as I'm connecting through an earth chakra, so we all do have an earth chakra a couple of feet below the root, that when we sit on the earth, it's plugged in to the planet usually shows up as a magenta color. So connecting with that center and letting it connect down to the core of the earth. And as we do this, I like to also imagine any other conscious individuals who are likewise connecting into the earth and healing potentiality. I like to imagine that we are like the trees and our roots are commingling under the surface of the earth. And we are assisting one another in offering strength, in offering nourishment. So for just a moment, connect in to that earth grid, that collective root system of strength. And allow and imagine it sending nourishment to you. Breathing that right up through your root chakra. Into Manipur, into the navel center. Here I want you to feel the vitality and the vibrance of the energy that's been brought up from the earth. And as you breathe in and out, Feel the navel center expanding. Imagine the lining within the walls of the abdomen being golden threads with each breath. And you're full of this life-giving, nourishing, healing energy of Mother Earth. As you fill the belly with this awareness, let your consciousness also become aware of any part of the body that is speaking to you with pain or injury or tension or inflammation or any discomfort at all. Maybe it's your heart from a heartbreak or a strain in the family Maybe it's a pit in your stomach from something emotional. Whatever it is, I want you to find that spot. And imagine hooking up a cord, a life cord, from the navel, which is now connected to the core of the earth and the root system, to that area of the body that needs some attention. We're just going to enhance the breathing circuitry to that point. As you do this, allow yourself to see in your mind's eye, in shittakash, in the mind space, how that area looks to you internally. Maybe it's a color, a texture. And as you begin to feed it from the earth, notice what begins to happen. got one plug into that area and now I want you to also tune into the Vayu around the body, the pranic field we worked with yesterday. 
that encases you, that is your auric field, containing a constant supply of prana. This is the healing substance of the universe, of you. So imagine that now also seeping in to the same area. Feel it like a white light, like a bright light, or silver or golden light, whatever feels more natural. And feel it coming also to feed this area with healing, with nourishment, with strength, purification. And watch the images in your mind's eye as you do this. Allow any hardness or ache that needs to chip away or be released to be let go through the apana, the downward flowing prana, back to the earth. You may feel emotional. Just ride it, go with the flow. And if at any point you feel another area of the body calling, needing to shift attention, go ahead and plug into that area just like you did the first. So I originally started in my heart space and then my lower spine started to have little twinges. So I've adjusted, so now there's a cord going to my heart, prana coming in to my heart and also now to the low spine, a secondary feed of healing energy. And as this is happening, now I want you to bring in the visualization of an emerald color green. Infusing the body, infusing these areas. And feel how that feels. I'm going to go ahead and add in three ohms to intensify the emerald green we are visualizing. So inhaling and visualize and continue in that same area that you're working on as you ohm. So letting your attention amplify the prana. going into the cells deeply and then just let that green light move out over the body and saturate any other part of you that maybe also needs some healing sensation hands fingers belly and just breathe that in go ahead and place your hands right over the belly and for a few breaths Feel yourself increasing, enhancing, even storing up some of this pranic energy. The kidneys can act as storage areas for prana. So you can even just kind of massage or rub that area and tell your kidneys, tell the belly, hey, you got, you got my back when I need a little extra prana to send some prana there or remind me to breathe. to give my organs and areas of the body little jobs to do. So holding some extra prana and move. 
moving it as necessary, distributing it, and continuing that flow. The more you practice a meditation with a specific visualization, the more it begins to happen without needing to try. It just happens subliminally. And this is how we reprogram our subconscious to our benefit. So we do positive visualizations enough that our body just clings onto it and keeps doing it while we're not thinking about it. So go ahead and take that green light right up the spine, stack it all 31, 32, 33 and a half vertebrae all the way to the top. Massage the other medulla. Take a moment, tap the top of the head. I'm just feeling that prana. Go ahead and fall into all of the cells, organs, glands, chakras, vertebrae, sense organs, memories, infusing all that with healing and nourishment. Whew. This is Stasia Bliss with your 30 day meditation challenge. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you again tomorrow. Namaste.